I always say that I that I fall in love with every person that I photograph. It's it's bigger than myself. You're very photogenic. <laughs> very beautiful. Thank you. My name is Paola. This is my mother, Sandy. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm a street photographer. Your camera brings you alive. It brings the best out of you. You can look at the bird. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look over here. They're perfect. <laughs> Being here in Quebec and having had the opportunity to take portraits of people who feel the same way as I do, feel excited about life, about what they do, had a great impact in me. Being immersed in nature, something that is bigger than ourselves, mm -hmm. it puts things into perspective. It surely does. And I decided to build this place, which is pretty spectacular. Yeah. Their call was very strong. I always try to take portraits of people in places that they belong. So for her, I wanted to show that power to follow your dreams, like grab it by the hand and just let go. I don't get to meet a lot of people that are happy with what they do. And meeting Fluke, the street artist, he wanted to do graffiti and do it there in Montreal. He was like, this is my home. This is where I love to do it. <laughs> I told you, eh? This is so good. <laughs> good to see you. Hi, I'm Paola. Nice you know what I mean? Like, graffiti's always been a voice of the streets, you know what I mean? So. So you had political issues being written on the wall. You had, you know, people even who love their city will shout out their city name or their neighborhood. So for us, it was easy to know what the tone is in a neighborhood when we went to go paint. So people from other countries, from other cities can come here and through the tone of the art can kind of understand what we're about. And he said that when he was drawing in school, that was not enough for him. He needed a bigger canvas. And that's why he decided to do the street art. Well, you know, for us, Montreal has always been that greenhouse of talent, you know, that awesome fertile soil of amazing creative minds. So for us, it's normal. One second. I put him in the front, right? And he's like so little. And it shows that, listen, like, I found my canvas. This is what I wanted. You could see, you know, the scale of that. Of, of his greatness, correct. Perfect. I feel that with everyone that we met, they're so passionate about everything that they do. Every single day, I feel so blessed to be able to do something that I'm passionate about. You don't count the hours, the time you invest, because you get so much pleasure out of it. The way she was talking about life and what she does and she was like, the day that I stop learning is the, the day that I'll die. The way she had this big smile on her face. So I was like high in, in that moment. It's super weird, but I'm like starstruck just hearing you speak because it's like I just met you, but I see myself in you. It was perfect, and it, I think it's one of my favorite portraits because I want to look back at that portrait and be like, oh, that's, that's me in hopefully 20 years. Again. Yes, please. I think the people we met and the people I photograph we were able to follow their dreams, not only because of their love for it, but because they have, they have a place that here, Quebec, allows you to do that.